Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so um, we've already done this. So this here is really a, a bit of a, a revision. Um, you should know that the limit, of, you should know that this will climb a lot faster than, than this. So, uh, so, thi so as n tends to infinity, um, this thing here is going to be much, much bigger than the numerator. So, so, so you've got something very, very small divided by something very, very big. So it's going to head towards zero. You should recognize this. You should know that this will be a lot bigger than n factorial as n tends to infinity. Okay, but let's, let's just pretend you, you forgot. A anytime you, anytime you, uh, you forget, then write it like this. n factorial, um, let's just say let n equals six. So you've got n factorial would be, would be, uh, one, well, six times five times four times three times two times one. And then, uh, and then n to the, so here you've got six to the power of six it means you get six times by itself. Six times. We, we have done this. So, so clearly you, you, you can see that the denominator here will be a lot bigger than, than the, um, well, you, you can make n to be really big. Let's say a hundred. And then, and then, uh, and then you can see that the denominator will be a lot bigger than the numerator. We've done this before, so you should be able to accept that um, that the limit of this equals um, equals zero. So that that that, that was just a revision. So the proper question, uh, so so the limit of this is actually zero. Okay. So now for the proper question, uh, find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, uh, to do this, let's re visualize, visualize this as being, well, what's happening here? What's happening here is that you've got, you've got, uh, n factorial. Let, let's say let, let n equals, let's say, let n equals four. So what you've got here is four times three times two times one, and then you times a ten. So that's what you've got. So, so, uh, so they're all being multiplied together. And then just note that this here is one less than this n here. Um, vi visualize it as one block, and then here you've got another block. So now uh, the the trick here is it, nothing more than a trick to re to factor out the uh, the ten uh, ten to the uh, ten n factorial. The trick is to rewrite. So here you've got one thing adding another thing. So if you if you, if you just look at this here, factorize factorize out the n the 10 n factorial so it's like this so to get this term i'm going to need a one and then to get this term I'm, i don't know what this is i'm just going to leave it as it is n minus one factorial and then and then divided by that n uh, 10 n factorial so now if you get this times this that would then give you this this times this that would then give you this so basically the trick is to rewrite this in in this form here so now um now as n tends to infinity, this thing here is going to head towards zero. So, so you've got this one here. That's, that's the nice thing about having one plus something. Well, this something here goes to zero as n tends to infinity. But let's, let's try and understand why it goes to zero. So here you've got, notice that this thing here is one less than the n here. So, uh, so let, let's just say n is, let's just say n is, uh, four. So what you've got up here is n, one less than n. So that would be three times two times one at the top. And then at the bottom here, you've got uh, n factorial. N is four. So it's going to be four times three times two times one. And then, and then you, you've got the times ten here, times ten. So you've got this, times this, times this, times this. So now, um, now these, these will cancel each other out, giving you one over, 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 over ten times four. Um, but then the, the, the thing is, um, the thing is, as n tends to infinity, this thing here will magnify itself. It's going to head towards one because the denominator, the, as n tends to infinity, the, the denominator will be a lot bigger than the numerator. So this thing here will head towards zero. So you've got one plus zero. So this thing, as n tends towards infinity, this thing here is going to be one. One times ten, uh, ten n factorial will be 10n factorial. So basically, this thing here will then head towards this. Now, as n tends towards infinity, you're going to get 1 over 10. So the, so the limit is actually 1 over 10. Okay?